The junction where the balcony penetrates the facade is usually a complex area. In this video, we explore the key points to look for when choosing thermal brakes for your balcony connection. All balcony connections must have a thermal brake to stop the occurrence of cold bridging at these junctions. However, it's important to remember the thermal values which need to be achieved is for the whole building, not isolated components. In live scenario testing, door positions and extract pipes have shown to be the biggest factors in cold bridging at this junction. The first and most important way is minimizing the surface area of the penetration. Less anchors clearly equates to less heat loss as quite simply, the more points the facade is penetrated, the more potential areas of thermal bridging. Concrete balconies, for example, have to be isolated all along the edge, whereas using sapphire's anchors will often mean there are just two smaller penetrations. Secondly, choosing an anchor which has very good thermal performance but poor structural and fire performance is likely to not only cost more but not provide the thermal benefit of having a similar performing thermal anchor which enables less connections to be used. Sapphire cassette balconies are considerably lighter in weight primarily because of their aluminium construction, and the anchors used are considerably stronger than other options available, which both mean that the number of anchor connections required can be reduced, saving cost and minimizing cold bridging. Sapphire provide two-part thermal brakes. The top part is made from materials which offer good thermal and fire performance, and is compressible where the anchor is resisting stretch. The bottom part of the anchor needs to resist compression rather than stretch, so it is a non-compressible product with a good thermal performance. The point of this is to maximize the thermal break, but not allowing the thermal break to compress when moment forces are applied, which is one of the industry's common causes of bouncy balconies. Given that the facade is being penetrated, waterproofing around these is key. Again, concentrating on reducing the quantity of anchors plays a big role in reducing the need and cost of this. Sapphire can offer web infills to the stubs or offer a thermal sleeve to make it easier to waterproof against. It is critical that any seal here is a soft joint so that slight movement can be absorbed while occupants use their balconies. Another consideration is how resistant to fire the thermal brake is. There are two considerations with fire within the cavity. Firstly, integrity of the fire stop, and secondly, the insulation value to stop heat transfer. Polystyrene is excellent thermally, however, it burns quickly. By using fire resistant materials like mineral wool and using solutions like the sapphire firebox, you can achieve good thermal values, keep the anchor rigid, and offer fire integrity and insulation. Over the years, Sapphire has had much experience in off-the-shelf anchor systems being cast in inaccurately. That's why Sapphire believe and have invested a lot of R&D resource into making anchors simple to cast in. These are delivered to sites pre-assembled and on craneable stillages ready for laying into the grid. With each bracket made for that site, minimal conflict with rebar can be achieved. Sacrificial edge shutters are provided to remove the need for RC contractors to box around the connection and instead simply screw through them. Finally, a setting out template is provided to join all the anchors together and avoid rotation or height issues, etc. In summary, the less penetrations we have, the better the thermal penetration is. You can achieve this by reducing the weight of the balcony and increasing the strength of the anchor fixings, whereby reducing the number of anchors. This also provides a very effective way of value engineering the balcony, RC setting out and the facade finishing costs, etc.